All right, so Dr. Cloud, you are truly the expert uh, with your co-author, uh, John Townsend, uh, the expert on boundaries. I mean, if anybody hasn't seen your book, they've been under a rock someplace over the last 20 plus years. Can you talk to us about setting boundaries with your children? All right, we have a question that came in, yeah. and the parent is—is is that being, possible? The parent is—I mean, you can do that nowadays. <laughs> I didn't think I didn't think you even did well, that anymore. I thought, I thought, <laughs> you know, you just kind of do whatever the kids want nowadays. You're the author, so you tell us. But this person is saying, "Hey, my kids." It just seems like like they they own the whole house. It feels like I don't have my own space just physically, but also it's just like I don't even have control over my own life anymore because I'm rushing off to this practice and this this event and so forth. Yeah. Uh, what do you say to that parent that's trying to figure out boundaries with kids? Well, I, you, you know, the first thing is, look, when they're 42 years old and they're still on your couch, I don't know. I don't know if you can be helped at that point. I mean, we might let this thing go and go on a little too long. <laughs> no, less the. Um, you know, one of the things that does does uh, trouble me. I, I think that we do see nowadays what I would call a lot more kind of you know helicopter sort of parenting, where where yeah. parents are. It, it's so it's so just upside down. They're they're trying to to have more control and take more control, you know, kind of making sure their kids are doing it right and don't get hurt and all this kind of stuff. But but in reality, when they're doing that, they're actually making their kids more out of control and and regressing them to, you know, to stay at a younger state. Look, boundaries are basically about one thing. They're about self-control, self-control. I told my kids when they got to be te teenagers, I said, look, you guys are about to be teenagers and you're going to want a lot more freedom. And trust me, I want you to have all the freedom in the world because the last thing I want to do is be in control of you. I got too much to do. Worry about you. I want you to be in control of yourselves. Now, the basic stance for that, and this starts really, really early. The basic stance for that is that a parent has to be in control of themselves. Right. So you've got to be standing here and you got to say, OK, Joey, look, here's the way this works. You get to be in control of how your day is going to go today. Now, if you do A, B, C and D, you're going to have a great day because you're going to get to go out and play and you get some time on your iPad and you get to, you know, have a play date and you get to go whatever it is. But you could choose option B and whatever, you know, the misbehavior is. And if you do that then I don't think you'll like your day as well because you're going to be in timeout and you're going to be grounded and you're not going to be able to do all this stuff. But it's totally up to you. Now, I'm going to have a good day either way, but you get to choose how yours is going to go. Now, what we've done in that stance, and that basically just runs through all the ages, what we've done in that stance is the child doesn't have the power to get you all amped up and angry and all this kind of stuff. You're staying separate. You're setting the limits and you're setting the choices and you're setting what's going to happen in a good or bad scenario. And then they get to choose. And what that does is that builds self-control and they learn, gosh, if I do life this way, it works a lot better than if I do that way. And that does incredible things, good things to the brain. Yeah. And so just knowing those consequences, you're still allowing for that freedom. You have a choice to make, but there are consequences. Either way, there's consequences, good or bad. And a challenge for all of us as parents. Henry, thanks so much.